It's like a testimony claim, you know. Imagine your mom called you and tell you, what's your name, sister? Grace. Grace, and tell you, Grace, I've cooked chicken for you. Yeah. Would you ever doubt your mother's no. what she said about no. you? Nah? Why not? This is my mom. <laughs> but also you believe. I trust her. Yeah. Why do you trust her? I don't know. Because she never lied. Yeah. On, yeah. Because I have no reason not to. Absolutely. <laughs> now, apply the same things to the messenger. Yeah. Ever since the creation of mankind, mm -hmm. the creator, when created everybody, he didn't leave me, you, and everyone in confusion. Yeah. And how he relieved the confusion? By sending messengers. Yeah, okay. And the messenger always comes with a message, yeah. Mm -hmm. Messenger cannot exist itself without a message, right? Yeah. Postman doesn't just appear with, by his body. He comes yeah, with yeah. So, we believe in Islam that God sent messenger so that the messenger can relay the message to the people. Yeah, okay. And we can check the messenger acceptability by knowing their, whether are they truthful, are they, you know, deluded, are they mm -hmm. crazy. And if you apply the test of What's credibility, the test? credibility test. How do you test it? Test it by looking at his life. Okay. Imagine Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, you, you look at his life and you will not find he was lying or cheating. Okay. Uh, and he was given title called Al Amin mm -hmm. and As Sadiq, the truthful and trustworthy by the non Muslim before he become prophet. Mm -hmm. okay. Now imagine someone given a title of Al Amin and As Sadiq means the, tru uh, the uh, truthful and trustworthy. Mm -hmm. They never are known to him to lie. Do you think you would make up lie? No. No. But you, do you think in today's society it's more, it's more, more easily um, tempted or distracted? Like, do you think obviously it's a different time now? There's kind of things that exist now that didn't exist before. No, I think. Enable you to lie it may be easier, it, like more easily or more like secretly. So um, do you think it's slightly, it's slightly harder to kind of? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand your question, so. Do you mean... Um, Just in order to kind of replicate their behavior, Okay. do you think, like just in modern society today, it's, it's kind of different for different people? And no, no, I, 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 no, I think if you look at, uh, if I understand you well, the, the teaching of Islam is not obsolete. Mm -hmm. It's still applicable today, mm -hmm. modern day. Yes. I'll bring you a case, yeah, it's example. In the time of Prophet, peace be upon him, before he became a Prophet, there are customs in the Arab community. Mm -hmm. We call it pre-Islamic community, pre-Arab, pre I mean pre-Islam, uh, pre before the advent of Islam. They used to bury their daughter alive. Heinous crime, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine just think about the baby. Mm -hmm. Baby was buried alive. And God uh, sent, you know, guidance in the Quran. Muhammad saying that and what reason the child will ask on the day of judgment what sin or what reason I what reason for you kill me mm -hmm. so of course the moment they received this guidance straight away they knew it's wrong right? yeah they yeah. didn't dispute that now the same practice is happening sister do you know how now the same practice is happening. Same practice is happening. Like with stoning and stuff? No, abortion. There oh. are a lot of people. Yeah, okay. okay. Abortion can be exempted. You can do abortion because of life threatening issues. You know, there are multiple reasons you can do abortion. Yeah. Islam allows that. But there are a lot of people actually deliberately doing abortion. Abortion means when a life comes to baby. Yeah. So the baby, when the baby comes to the womb of the mother, and at a certain point life comes, and if you do abort the baby, that is a killing. In another way, you see. So, in the time of Arabia, they were doing. They didn't have this hospital facilities, this modern facility to abort babies. They, after the born, they used to kill. Now we are doing the same thing. 
because we believe the giver of life is God. So, and he is, should be in charge of the taker of the soul as well. You see, so this is how God sent, you know, message so that, you know, they can guide, Allah can guide the humanity. Otherwise, the society will have a chaos and corruption. I think there's a lot of corruption. So exactly. And, and Allah mentioned um, in, in whole throughout the Quran, do not spread corruption in the land. Constantly reminding people. Mm -hmm. Going back to the point, I, I was demonstrating one point about the guidance issue and how, you know, how can we apply guidance. But going back to the point, you know, if you know that Prophet Muhammad is be upon him, if your investigation, you've done the investigation, mm -hmm. and you come to a conclusion that okay, he's not a liar, not a cheater, yeah. not an imposter, and he's a messenger of God. And his message is believe in one God, mm -hmm. and worship the same God, and give rights to him alone, and do not partner with him anything. Is that will be a difficult thing for you? I don't know. I guess it kind of makes sense then, yeah. So, uh, let me share with you a story. Uh, uh, in, in the time of Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, they they tried to kill him mm -hmm. in one incident. Right? They tried to kill him, so they plot. Uh, so all of the tribes uh, in, in in Arabia, yeah, uh, apart from his own tribe, so they make the plot. They want to mm -hmm. kill him. Yeah. So they invited each tribe one person, so that they can jointly can kill him. And Allah has revealed that plot to him mm -hmm. because Allah, uh, you know, the creator of the heavens and the earth, didn't allow this to happen. Mm -hmm. Who knows the secret? If I ask you, who knows the secret? Do you know what's happening on that room? What people are talking? No, only God knows, right? Yeah. We believe so. The God relaying that information, so God revealed uh, information to Prophet Muhammad. And Allah said, from that, you know, they didn't see, basically, paraphrase. Allah make it hidden for them. Mm -hmm. So he, basically, they um, they were outside of his home. And they followed him all throughout the day. And they know he's inside. Yeah. Okay. So the plan of matter. Saved him. Allah yeah. saved him. Okay. And then there are many occasions, Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. peace be upon him. You know, in his story of life, you, know, you can demonstrate that yeah. he is a messenger of God, and 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 in, in, and in his message is very simple and clear. Mm -hmm. Now, just imagine one thing: the man never in life his entire life. Do you think you lie about God? Yeah. No, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's more just how you can make. With society changing, how you can continue to like, continue to preach. The, the message that yeah. to everyone in society. Yeah. I think it's just the society system involved. The principle remains same because people the used to cheat. The same, but yeah. I think it's misinterpreted a lot by different people. Of course, it's it because of many people have not enough enough knowledge. Some people speak from ignorance. And Islam, uh, we have a principle that if anybody That's brings you any information right. before you accept it, you investigate it. And that is the so Quran tells us to be skeptic, but not hyper skeptic. Yeah. 